So hello everybody, my name is Alicia Brennan and I am the 2015 Rose of Chile. So yeah. it's the morning after, it's bright and early after the selection night um, and I've just about got a few words together. I um, had very little sleep but kind of woke up and it's not a dream, it's actually reality. So in shock, just trying to process things little by little and um, it's just been amazing. Yeah, absolutely amazing. You were one of the favourites to win but you never, did you, were you aware of that fact? No, not at all. And I, anyone you know that are trying to suggest that I was a favourite to win, it's just my dad telling everyone to bet. So take no heed of that. He was telling everyone but the postman to bet. So um, no, and I mean to me, it's irrelevant, and it's um, it's how you perform during the week and how who you are as a person and how um, the judges perceive you and how well you get on your. We have um, individual interviews and group interviews, and also there's lots of informal occasions where the judges see us naturally interact with people. Um, we had a judging lunch the other day, um, so I suppose there's a lot more to it than I suppose bookies are seeing, and how can they know? So I didn't really pay any attention to the bookies um, at all, and I wouldn't be into gambling. And the first bet I ever placed was at the Galway races. I put two year on a horse and a 16 year old, so that was me, John. That was my good luck streak over with. <laughs> So um, I suppose three years ago um, when I was ill and I did make a bucket list, I was, it was something that was on it. Um, my friend Lisa and I sat down um, the day I finished my leaving certain, it was my first appointment in Beaumont Oncology Wood and um, I suppose we just decided, we just wrote a list and a lot of things were kind of superficial and a bit frivolous and one of them was to go kayaking, um, another was to visit the Statue of Liberty, um, Kilimanjaro was on it, finish a marathon and the Rose of Lee was on it. And to be honest, that was back in June, so I don't know. All, it wasn't August, it wasn't Rose of Chile season, but it came up anyway, and I remember sitting watching it that year um, on the sofa with mum and my sister. And um, I suppose I was in a very low and vulnerable place at the moment in time, but um, the girl's just being incredible. And I mean, I've watched it for my whole life. I've, I've grown up, I suppose. I've never known a time when I've not watched the Rose of Chile. Um, I was associated with being in Donegal, um, where we spent most of our summers, especially when we were younger. So we used to do um, potluck and sweepstakes. And I remember so fondly the year that Orla O'Shea won. And that was, I had picked her that year. So that was a really exciting year. So um, yeah, I suppose, and it being the summer when I was sick, um, the Rose of Chile just came about. And um, I was kind of humming and hawing about whether I was going to be, I suppose, have the strength to be able to sit my exams. Um, and it was my Auntie Kira that said to me, Alicia, I suppose the Rose of Chile then became a thing in our family. It was my Auntie Kira that said to me, Alicia, what's going to be more of a powerful message when you're standing on stage in the dome? And this is before I'd even filled out any application form. She said, the girl who sat, who got cancer and sat her exams, or um, the girl who got cancer and didn't. So I suppose it all kind of materialised from there. Going back to college, I suppose, I never allowed myself to think that far. And um, this is more of an experience than me ever thinking that, um, I suppose, having the option of taking the year out was going to ever be um, a reality. So I think I just need to go home now and sit with it for a few days and have a think about it. Um, I think taking a year off college is probably on the cards because medicine is all consuming. It's more of a lifestyle choice than a um, career choice. Um, and I don't know how the two would marry together. Um, coming up to exam season, I'm studying for 12 hours a day. I do eight to eight days. Um, that's my study schedule. So, I mean, I'm not making any huge decisions now because I know I'm still in shock and processing things. But what's for you won't pass you and my college have been so supportive um, thus far. So we'll see, we'll see. Watch this face. I was um I was pushed into ballet at a really early age. Um not by choice, by necessity, because mum had twins when I was three. So I suppose she needed something to occupy my time. So um, I started ballet in Dunabay Parish Hall. I suppose it kind of just grew from there. Um, I fell in love with dance and it was really my tr first true love. Um, I've done ballet, tap, hip hop, contemporary, everything under the sun. Um, 
I performed in the National Concert Hall, which was amazing. Um, completed, or completed, took part in um, the Olympia Theatre Dublin Christmas Pantomimes um, for two years, um, which was an absolutely amazing experience. And I actually credit a lot of my um, self-confidence to being in pantomime. And I was a panto child, and I'm self-admittedly a panto child, but I learned how to walk into a room and to how to hold yourself and to stand on your own two feet and to be able to look people in the eye. And um, it totally was a huge boost of confidence. And I know a lot of people accredit dancing um, to self-confidence and being very assured within yourself. Um, and I suppose I kind of put it on hold and put it on the back burner um, to pursue my studies, and especially when I put my back to repeat my leaving cert, um, dancing certainly took a back seat. Um, for my first six year, um, I had done um, hip hop competitions up until Christmas. So I suppose I was training maybe twice a week, um, an intense hour, so study, I suppose, wasn't a huge priority. And um, hence the repeat leaving cert, so dancing did kind of take over. But maybe with this year, I might be able to incorporate dance into something. I suppose, who knows? I, there's a lot of ideas swarming around my head, but I just need to sit with things and just process everything. Yeah. Okay. I just want one more. Yes, and a big cheer, two hands up cheer. Yay! Yay! Lovely. Thank you. 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 Thank